Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching series of video. Today I created this very simple diamond pickup effect and this was the reference I followed and I created it from scratch so you will learn better and if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. If you like this tutorial, like, share and comment and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. My handle is cghow underscore. Link is in the description and let's start this tutorial. First of all, subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So this is the reference I found today on Pinterest. I put the link in description and this is a tiny uh, diamond and this is just a fact from Dribble and let this can be used as a pickup effects in a game. So let's say this is a diamond pickup effect that we were we will create today so let's let's create a mesh for this diamond so i will create in maya i'll just take a slender and in slender you need to decrease the segments okay and uh, like how many they are then you need to take a one more edge then scale it down from here so i'll do the same so i'll increase a segment one okay and you can move this down then scale it up like this and uh, you can delete the faces from top cap then scale it down so you can just merge these if you want but i will not merge i will just scale it because if you'll merge this uv also make a triangle here that i don't want we have bottom we have this and also you can delete bottom if you want and what you can do i'll show you you can delete this bottom if you want your uv good uh, look good you can just add one more edge oops it's too many so let's double click on it take a this one and just connect here one and then you can scale it down also like this okay and then from the side view on the side view if i press 4 you can scale these all like this so your uv will be like just a planar and then i'll scale this even more okay so we have our diamond and now i'll just fit the uvs double click and normalize normalize okay so we have this thing and now uh, i'll also move this edge little up you can just move it here and this one here that it doesn't matter much here okay so i'll just export it and this is a very small so i will just make it little bigger and then phrase and also delete the history if you are working in Maya desktop diamond okay and also in here uh, I will take a UV snapshot and on desktop uh, this is UV diamond okay it is 2k PNG and just apply and close and now here i will create a folder and name it diamond pickup okay i will import that mesh here and also you can use this uv but i will twix these uvs 
this texture so we have this mesh and now in uv i will open that uv in photoshop control h to hide and move so we have these lines and if i merge these together and go to filter i guess we will have something that will make these line little thicker like this you can use this and there, there can be more so i can just use this first one we can edit this we can even make that thicker so i will decrease this yeah black and white i need so we have thicker a control i to invert and you can label it okay so you got this and what i'll do i'll duplicate this and here in this one in the second one i'll select these not one by one you need to deselect this then select all your black will be selected then control j to create that in new layer and control i to invert it and here i will make it black so we have this white part so what will i will do i will actually i will invert it it is black and then i will go to blending option and i will take inner glow and we can decrease this like that because if you check this this pink glow we can create that this will be our inner glow so this much or this much okay so now i'll merge this and copy this control a to select all control c and in this first image i'll paste that in different channel so we have now two channels in this i'll close this and save this on desktop targa diamond uv uv diamond and here i will import that in material and diamond i'll select this diamond here to preview then i'll drag this and this red channel will be our edge like this but there is something wrong and why it's not showing so if you'll see this and in maya this should work so if i import that texture here it is working fine no 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 i we have issue here so if i select this and if i select this edge so these are these edges are cutting because these are okay let me check in photoshop there should not be any issue why i don't know why it's giving that issue so if i just press u and add something on it So now we have these properly. Okay, so and now we can use this green channel also. So if I make it translucent and two sided and I'll multiply uh, not multiply, I'll just add this green channel opacity. we can use power node 0.5 0.2 
yeah now we have thing so i'll take the color the vector 3 and i'll just make it pink and then add this white on it and here I will use clamp in opacity because I don't want the zero. I want one and maybe point one. Like this. But that lines are not good. So I'll go to Photoshop and in my red channel, if I'll zoom you can see the issue so what i'll do i'll select Control shift i and press d and Control backspace to fill this Control shift i and that should fix the issue if that's not fixing your issue you can just simply because you have some value here you can multiply and then take the saturate and you can just multiply it with like 10 or 100 Why? Okay, that will also add on opacity. So now it fixed. And this thing, I'll make it, I think, 1. 1.5. So we got almost same. But this point 0.1 value, I'll make it point 0.2. Like this. And this is very glowy. So you can just make this edge. little hot before adding it here you can make it like 100 or maybe 10 okay so almost same output we got now okay and one more thing, those lines when they are going behind, they are not very, uh, you know, bright, but mine is, are bright. So for that you can do, you can take two sign, uh, two, two side sign, and then you need to take the LARP. So what it will do, uh, it will because every mesh has two sides so this two sign is for two side and one side i will make it brighter and the other side the inside part of this mesh i'll make it a little faded so now you have this 25 value here so i will take a lerp connect it here and then make it um, Actually multiply it with this so now you can see the value so I can make this one and this 25 so this the front the outer is brighter the inner is black so I can make it little brighter
if this is still the giving issue you can just make it one and point one then again multiply here now if i make it 20 you can see but these are becoming black not uh, not like white so if i take the saturate here yeah it fixed so now now we have this bright and not bright thing okay so now i will just make a particle system fx and simply just take a mesh render and this material This is spawn spawn one particle and just spawn it once and make the life infinite and then you have the size and then I'll take the update mesh orientation and on Z axis I will rotate it and why it's not visible let's make it and and delete the gravity and drag and they should be it is very fast rotating uh, this will be point one then initial mesh rotation and none make it point five sorry it is one point five okay so you got the main part then there's a second thing these plus thing and to create that the best part will be to create a material or texture like this which is dissolving but in my case i will create that from particles so how i will do that so let's say you have a texture or a material like this so material and let us say and this is just a, a line okay here this these plus has a rounded edge and then a cylindrical shape so you can take a radial exponent and you can make the density like 50 and then take the radius like 0.1 then you have a center point that you can change like 0 0.5 0 0.5 is center but if you make it 0.4 it will go slightly left and if you make it 0.6 it will go slightly down so 0 0.3 to make it here or maybe 0 0.2 0 0.1 let's try 0.1 0.15 then i'll just duplicate this control d and we need same density we need the same radius but the different phase so this is 0.15 so that means you need to now do it 0.85 and if you will add these together and this is actually i think this is a long way to create this you can simply uh, have a texture like this and just create it but now we need a line here so for that i'll take a texture coordinate and then i'll take i'll subtract 0.5 then absolute and then a channel 
so you have now watch channel uh, i need just one channel uh, red then i'll take the step note so now you can decide how wide your line should be okay so now if you will add these together but this line should be cut from both sides so for that you can just take a mask again this time green channel and again take the step node sorry step node and this time we will make it like 0 0.1 0 0.01 actually 0.4 yeah so if you multiply these together you will have that line cut it now you can add this line with these radials so you will have a round shape but you can see your radial has a little uh, you can actually decrease this or you can make it 0.35 perfect and now you can take a saturate here okay so you got the part and in this you have uh, actually a control you can make the height and width parameters with this that's why i created so now we need a particle color that will go here and we will take mask actually and then connect it here okay so you have this so now if i use this line and here if i create uh emitter like this fountain again and in this we use this so first what i'll do i'll remove these and i'll spawn uh, i'll spawn use a spawn burst and two particles so you see these two particles uh, overlapping these are the and they have random rotation so if in the random rotation i make this direct normalized angle and at zero this is vertical at 0.25 this is this should be horizontal so if i use uniform uh, not random if i use uniform a or b then i can use 0 and 0.25 so it will make plus but not every time sometime both will spawn on the 0 or sometime both will spawn on the 0.25 so for that what you can do you can multiply this with execution index and then you can make this 0.25 so now every time they will spawn on the same and let's make the same size so every time they will spawn in a plus okay but this plus uh, will not erode from the center so what i'll do we need actually more so if i we need actually one two three four so if i make it four and now here yeah 0.75 so now these are spawning like this and if i scale the size so size is now 10 and if i take this non-uniform this is 10 10 and if i decrease not this one this one you can see these are all changing the size and if i change the pivot and now if i decrease the size okay and if i make this pivot one set of zero if i change the side oh yeah one
these are not working but they should but it, it's okay you can just uh, play with it so you can just make it like this and you can do one thing you can make this thing uh, to dissolve and from only one side so what you will do you can pan this so this thing so if i add some value here and make a dynamic parameter this is actually a very long way to create that simple effect but you will learn something okay so this is your offset so now if i like it say so if i now use a dynamic parameter here and with the zero value it it is plus but if i increasing this line has offset actually uh, we will do something because i'm adding value on both axes we need a append and we need offset only on x and y i will make the zero So now if I'll show you, Oops. okay, let's try why maybe I'm doing it wrong. Actually, what you can do is uh, in here, instead of this panning thing, I think what you can do is because we need to cut it from top you can just take a texture coordinate and take the gradient and then there's the step and then multiply this step this one with this and that's it so what will happen here you have texture coordinate then i'm taking the green channel then step so it will make this gradient up and down and I'm multiplying it with this then with this so let's save it quickly so now here you can see already we have this okay but these balls are not animating with this this also should come with this offset so we have this ball this second ball this was top ball this was down ball so I think we need to edit this ball so this has this offset and what we can do is um, I will use append and my X is 0.5 my Y is 0.85 so connect here and this offset we will add this offset to our y connect it here save this so now okay these are going on different axes so i'll invert this offset I'll add it here actually actually you know what uh, i can just uh, check my correct value and then show you the uh, correct value but i do all mistakes in front of you so that's why uh, because you will learn what you can do uh, what mistakes you can make when you are creating effect so that's why i just create everything in front of you without practicing or anything so i stuck in front of you i solved issues in front of you so you will learn maybe sometime it can be boring for you because for a small thing i am taking 10 minutes or 15 minutes but eventually you will learn something that yeah we can make that mistake too so it's saving
ओके या फाइन जस्ट अ लिटिल मिस्टेक दैट इज योर वी विल इनवर्ट दिस आफ्टर दिस so i paused this video for a while and i found the best value so because it, it is using the 0.85 here so from this offset first i subtract 0.15 and then i subtract this offset from this 0.85 so it will make you from 0.85 to 0 because this value is from 0 to 1 and when you subtract 0.15 it will remain from 0 to 0.85 and when will you will uh, subtract from 0 to 0.85 this will go from 0.5 to 0 and then i'm inverting this offset and going to step these are the best value and you see we have now this so what will happen here uh, what we need actually we need a dynamic parameter here from 0 to like 85 So if I play now, and we will make the life 0.5 or 0.8, but this is just a one, and here we have a random. So what we will do? I will create one more uh, emitter fountain, and in this fountain, uh, I'll rename it uh, as source. and then i'll remove these and we have a sphere like an i can red radius for now and spawning rate may be 10 for now and i'll make the i'll make the size of particle zero so it will not be visible and then we will create a persistent id and then create a stage from here not here we will generate We will generate that location or uh, event. Anything, anyone you can use. Let's say that, and then here in the fountain one, we will now use the event handler, and we will use the that and the spawn particle, and then we will use here four. So if you can see now, if I'll hide this. Let's try only one. Uh, let's. Oh, you need to also take the receive that. Sorry for that. See, now we have the this effect in random particles, and we can make now this zero. Okay, so we can we can now turn on our This and we can increase the particle size here. So this is now ten and seven. Let's make it twenty and fifteen. And also the spawn rate may be just five. And then sphere size may be one fifty or two hundred. Yeah. So cool. So this is our effect that we created today. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. You enjoyed it. Maybe it was slightly slow tutorial, but yeah, eventually we create something that can be useful in in game. So thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye bye.